Alrighty, so we are here at Korg's. And this is my first time here. It's awesome. I mean, they let just anyone in. I mean, he's really pimping those 3D products, man. I mean, they are cool though. What's your store? Uh, why don't you angle it down so people can actually see it? Thank you. So, you know what? I'm gonna let you just go ahead and put a link to it because it's Rock Solid Productions on Weebly and Square and Etsy, or you can just go to youtube.com slash at rock solid, and I've got links to everything right there. I can give you my link tree. There, there, I'll put the link tree down below. And I promise I'll even try to remember to do that when I'm editing this video. Nice. But uh, hey, what's up, Nintendrew? How's it going, man? Nice. So yeah, everyone is finishing setup and then all of the very important guests, they're all very important, but uh, they will be arriving in about 15 minutes. And then an hour after that, the show will officially open up. Let's go uh, take a look at the floor real quick. And then we've of course got a uh, special guest alley going on over here. Uh, Brian is definitely set up. He's working on it. He's working on it. He's working on it. In case you all didn't know, like, he's made, you know, a couple of things you may have heard of. Nothing major at all. Nothing. Hey, there's my booth. Here we got Tech Buzz Gaming with Steve Haywood. <gasps> and we got Gamer Aimer. Hi, Gamer Aimer. And Jay's not here yet, so roast him in the comments, everyone. Yeah, he's not here. Yeah. Ooh, stickers. I'm all by myself. No one wants to sit near me. You're all by yourself. Your wife's right there. <laughs> oh, these people? Yeah. The, Steve and Jay don't want to sit next to Brandy. We all saw it. That's messed up. And he lied to all of us, saying he was not going to be here. But here he is, Retro Rob, everyone. How's it going, buddy? Good. A little tired. I've been on the road since uh, last Monday, I think. Yeah. That's a lot of road time. Yeah, yeah. 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 You yeah. all set up, ready to go? I am set up and ready to go. Yeah. It's yeah, exciting, man. I did that yesterday. I kept rubbing it in Gary's face because he wasn't done. I'm a first timer. Same here. I've never been to this oh, con wow. before. Nice. Yeah. And you're vending. And I'm vending. Nice. Yeah. So you know, I'll get to see you know nothing. Yeah. I can man the mood. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> no, I, I'll put like Jay and family on oh, for a little yeah, while. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they volunteered. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, behind me there was a wall and it was blocking everything. So now the wall's been moved, rotated the table a little bit, and now people are actually coming up to the table. It's crazy. When people have access to you, they actually, you know, come and see your wares. All right, I finally get to go explore. I've escaped my booth because Jay is watching it. Thanks, Jay. And I've been told that one of the games for the Wii U that I am missing, I'm only missing two, is over in the area that I'm walking to. We're gonna find out. And here's Rob, he's harassing me again. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Hi, Rob. <laughs> I'm told it's at a larger vendor and they have it. Let's go find it. Well, it took a while to find the vendor, but once I did, they actually had some pretty cool stuff, including this little beauty right here, which I was very excited to see. I just made a deal for something. There's one game left. But after hunting for that game, it was time to go explore. And Explore I did. They had all kinds of goodies. As you can see, they had new stuff, they had old stuff. There was a really good variety at this con, honestly. And they had some really good box stuff. They had cool loose stuff, some items I hadn't seen before. And ended up uh, picking up a couple of random things. They had all the typical things, as you can see right here, you know, like a thousand Wii Fits. But it was just, it was a good variety, which is always nice to see. And then they had some bigger ticket things, like this particular booth. They had some really nice in-box stuff. I had never seen a Mario Party Advance in-box like that, so that was pretty cool. Everyone had things that were in really good condition. They had a lot of box stuff, as you can see. And honestly, most vendors were like pretty reasonably priced. There was some overpriced stuff here and there, but I mean, as I'm walking around, I could hear all kinds of deals being wheeled and dealed and people just having a great time. Of course, Wild Bills was there. They are always awesome. So if you ever go to a con that has them, make sure to buy their cup because you can take it to other cons. Searching, trying to see if I can find that last Wii U game, but no luck. All right, so I've been waiting forever for Brian, BD Retro Mods, to come out with this particular controller. I asked him ages ago to make this, and finally it's reality, aftermarket controller for the Tandy. So now my Trash 80 has a controller, and I'm very excited. And definitely check out BD Retro Mods, uh, uh, mainly on Instagram, right? 
Facebook, Instagram. Facebook, uh, Instagram. Yeah. Check him out. Yeah. He makes controllers for everything. Look at these things. Look at all of these. Basically, any retro console you can think of and some modern stuff too. It just keeps going. It is always awesome to see and talk to Brian. He makes amazing products, but now it was time to hit the floor again and see if I could find that final Wii U game, Book of Unwritten Tales 2. Anytime I see that blue case, I go and dive in to see if they have the game. Odds are it's not going to be one that's just sitting in one of these little piles. It'll probably be in a box somewhere. But here we have ColecoVision stuff, complete in box, very nice, some Vectrex box stuff, tons of like of the super old retro stuff in box in amazing shape. I don't know if those were just a collection that somebody found, but found some more really cool box stuff that you don't often see, like these ColecoVision controllers right here. I have them, but I've never seen them in box. So that was another really cool thing, including this like 70s, 80s style living room. So Chris, what's going on here? Uh, I found the second to last game I need for the complete Wii U set, okay. um, but there's a problem with it. It's Axiom Verge Multiverse Edition. But it's sealed, and oh. I don't like that, so... There's a solution for this. There is a solution for that. We're gonna just, uh, oh, all the sealed haters. That's gonna, oh, that's gonna hurt them. Oh, so how many, that. how many does this make now for the Wii U collection that you uh, I don't know how many the total is, it's a lot, um, but it's the complete collection minus one. Book of Unwritten Tales 2, you're next. Okay, so it has been a few days. I am back now, as you can see, but I figured I would go through and show you everything that I picked up, not only at Korg's, but just while I was in Columbus that weekend. So first, let's start with this guy right here. Uh, you might be wondering, what is that other than a random joystick? Well, this is from Brian over at BD Retro Mods, and you can find him all over the place online. Does a lot of stuff on Instagram as well but he makes custom controllers for retro systems. And this one, as you may have guessed by the name right here, Tandy, uh, this is for Tandy systems. More specifically, my Trash 80, the TRS-80, otherwise affectionately known as Coco. All right, so this is a nice uh, digital joystick and buttons. It's not analog, so there might be a couple of games that it has issues with, but it is a nice joystick for it when it is hard to find controllers for it. So. This is awesome, and as you can see right here, I mean, clean design, it's got plenty of space for your hands, the buttons feel great, and this is an awesome get. Now, next up, I actually picked this up, like, basically on my way to uh, Korg's, and that is Cozy Grove on Physical. I was watching Jay over at Square Pigs, I was watching uh, one of his recent videos, and I had no idea that Cozy Grove had come out physical, and I was super stoked because I bought this game digitally when it first came out, and I thought it was absolutely amazing. This is like the ultimate in cozy just games. You know, pardon the pun of it being called Cozy Grove, but if you like bears and you like lighthearted ghost stuff and nice adventures that you get to go on, then Cozy Grove is definitely a great pickup. And I bought this new, uh, I think it was 25 bucks. I uh, got it uh, from I Am 8-Bit. So awesome pickup right there. Now, next up, this game I actually got the day after Quarks when we were checking places out. I forget what the name of the place was. I think it was like Nerd Emporium or something like that. It's right there in Columbus. But I picked up, and I've already made a, my own custom case for it, but uh, Primal Rage on Game Boy. Now, why did I pick up Primal Rage on Game Boy? I don't know. It was like $7, and I didn't know they made Primal Rage on Game Boy, so I went ahead and uh, picked up a copy of it. Not the greatest label condition, but I thought that was kind of neat. You know, Primal Rage on Game Boy. Can't be that bad, can it? Huh. But yeah, there's another one. Now, next up is something that was completely unexpected, but uh, my buddy Gary over at Roxfeller Productions, he does a ton of different 3D prints and makes the coolest products. He prints all of his own original designs and they always come out awesome. And he knows I love all things purple, so he gave me this guy right here. And you might be wondering, what the heck is it? Well, kind of hard to see on the camera right there, maybe if I tilt it this way, but it says Nintendo Game Boy. And that is because this is a nice holder for a DMG, the original Game Boy, and it can hold up to uh, four games there on the side. 
So sweet little display piece and yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, Gary. Now, next up, we have something cool. Now, I, as you know, have been going for a full Wii U set. I, I now only have one game left to get. And I told myself that if I can't find it at a convention by the end of this convention season, end of 2024, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and buy it online so I can complete the set because I've been looking for years. That one that I'm missing is The Book of Unwritten Tales 2. The one that I got was another one that was taking a long time to find, but somebody had it at the right price, and that is Axiom Verge Multiverse Edition. Now, I already had this game on Switch. Cool, that doesn't complete my Wii U set. Uh, this was its you know, original kind of release was on uh, the actual Wii U. And what's cool about this, it was sealed. Uh, you might see a short of that, but I don't believe in sealed games, so I broke the seal on it. But as you can see, it has all the goodies in here. We have the game, we have the artwork, we have the soundtrack. I didn't open the soundtrack and stuff because there's no point. Uh, making of documentary, it's got a cool little poster, it's got an art book, and then of course, it has the game. So that is Axiom Verge Multiverse Edition and very excited to finally have that one in the collection. It has been eluding me for quite some time. I've seen it a few times in person, but people wanted way, way too much money for it. Even this one was pricier than I wanted to pay, but I was down to the last two games, so I just bit the bullet and did it. And that means I only have one game left to go, which is crazy. This has been a crazy time collecting all of the games for the Wii U and getting that full set, but yeah. And it also had this like little slip thing, which, you know, the plastic wrap held on. So I just have it in this uh, cheap little protector, mainly so that I don't lose that piece. So that is Axiom Verge Multiverse Edition on the Wii U. Now, the final pickup, I got that at that same Nerd Emporium or whatever it was called. I normally don't get things like this because they take up a ton of space, but I love this franchise. And so far in the franchise, this was my absolute favorite installment. Um, it's big. So let's, okay, let's lift this thing up. Oh. I got the Horizon 2 Forbidden West Regala Edition. Now, you might be asking, what the heck is that? Um, it's a big old statue. So let's go ahead and look at the back of this and see what all comes in it. Let's flip this down. And I don't know how well you're gonna see it in this camera, I will try. But we have the Steelbook display case, a mini art book, the Tremor Tusk and Aloy statues, a replica focus. We have a focus stand. We have two art cards, a Claw Strider machine uh, strike piece, a Sunwing machine strike piece, a canvas map. It comes with the full game digital for PS4 and 5. Obviously I have the game already, so I didn't care about that, but I like the Steelbook that came with it. That's cool. All right, and then it comes with extra stuff in the uh, photo mode and in-game's uh, in game items unlocked via story progression. So there are some extra things that can be unlocked, which is super cool. So this comes with all kinds of goodies. And I think I am actually going to end up doing a separate unboxing because there's so much cool stuff that comes in this. And if you have not played a Horizon game or you've only played the first one, Zero Dawn, and you haven't played Forbidden West, oh my God, this game is amazing. I platinumed everything in it. And same with Burning Shores, it's DLC. It's DLC was like another 15 hours of gameplay. It was amazing. So I picked up that too. And that's it. That's all I got. Most of the time, I back when I first started going to cons, I would come home with double bags of games, but really kind of pared down my collecting in recent years. And as you can see, I didn't come home with a double bag. I bought, what was that? Three games and only two of them were actually physically at Korg's. Uh, but Korg's was an awesome show. I hope you guys like the con footage in this. Uh, if you've never been to Korg's, I would highly recommend it. If you are in the Ohio area, very fun convention. I had a great time. Gary, the guy who puts it on, super nice dude. And of course, as always, I got to hang out with a bunch of my friends, including ones that I hadn't seen in a while and was surprised because Retro Rob was there. So I was very excited to see my buddy Rob. Hadn't seen him uh, since Midwest Gaming Classic and he actually said he wasn't coming out to this one. I thought I wouldn't be seeing him till next month uh, at uh, Siege, the Southeast Game Exchange in South Carolina. But uh, yeah, so. Very good con. I had a great time. Thanks, Gary, for having me out. 
Uh, look forward to checking it out again in the future. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank y'all for watching, and I'll catch you later.